When you have a chronic condition and a chronic illness, we tend to have personality traits that put other people's feelings before our own. And this isn't ideal for when you want to recover. You need to put yourself first. It's so important to put your feelings first. And I, from all the consultations I did in the past, I would find the common trend of people always wondering how they're going to affect other people if they do X or if they put themselves first, what about this person? And it can really hold you back. What you have to understand is, is that you have your conscious experience that you experience every second of every minute of every day and no one else has that experience. So if you are suffering, you are suffering your whole waking moment. Every waking moment, you are suffering with something that no one else has to suffer with because they're not experiencing it every second. They might look at you and go, oh, poor David, or whatever your name is. Oh, you know, that sucks for him. Anyway, back on with my life. That's how most people operate. You know, they might feel bad for you, but realistically, that's where it stops. You are the only one that experiences it every second of every day. And when you understand that, and you understand that other people might not seem to put you first, but the reason why is because they don't have urgency. They don't experience it to the level you do. You're the only one that experiences it, experiences what you're experiencing every second of every minute of every hour of every day. And when I realized this, I was like, if I don't put myself first now, when I experience it every second of every minute of every day, why would anyone else go to great efforts to get me out of this? And that's when I really turned the corner and I was like, I need this, I need that, I need, I just put myself first. And it's a trait that I've battled with for most of my life, I would say. And even now with a family and friends, it's very hard to find that line. But the thing is, is when you achieve optimal health and you feel good, you wake up, like I've done this morning, had an hour workout, and I feel good, I can love more. I can love my partner more, I can do more things for her, I can do more things for my child, I can have the energy to actually give back. When you haven't got the energy to start with, with yourself, how can you really give anything to anyone else? I think it just needs a very constant reminder to everyone with a chronic illness to understand your personality traits and how they can hinder you and really understand that taking care of yourself is going to ultimately take care of the ones you love as well.